sea of people as close to 5,000 march the streets, carrying signs and sing the women's warrior song. According to organizers, it's one of the largest turnouts of people yet, as the demand for justice is getting louder. It's a way to gather up the allies and the supporters and all of the Indigenous people to remind the government that we're here, we're determined, and this has got to change. Maggie Gisley is holding a sign for her late friend, Don Cray. She was a victim of convicted serial killer, Robert Picton. She's been coming every year to offer her support. It's really emotional because not much has changed in the favour of women. Angeline Jack is marching for her cousin Jackie Murdoch, whose remains were also found at Robert Picton's farm. But back in the mid-1990s, Jack said she was a sex worker and a drug addict. Now clean and sober, she recounts how she could have easily been one of the victims herself. He had his brother and his and his uh, uncle with him, I think. They were in a black van. We were passing on Powell there, where the Starbucks coffee drive through is. The back window was open, the back door, I mean. They didn't lock it, but they pushed me in the back. They got in the front. The door was open, so I jumped out as the moving van was driving. So I'm proud to be here. It's a solemn walk as young and old gather to conduct ceremonies along these infamous streets on the downtown east side, where so many went missing or were murdered. This is the 27th annual Murder to Missing Women and Girls March here in Vancouver, and these protesters say that they'll continue to hit the streets and make their message known that they're demanding justice for the murder to missing women and girls in this country. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.